In Delaware, people are talking about medical aid and dying, which allows mentally capable, terminally ill adults to get prescription medication to peacefully end unbearable suffering. Here are the myths and facts. Fact. Medical aid and dying laws include more than a dozen safeguards. The person requesting this end-of-life care must make multiple requests, and both healthcare providers must confirm no coercion exists, protecting vulnerable populations from abuse, including the elderly and disabled. Fact. Medical aid in dying is not suicide assisted suicide, or euthanasia. People who want this option don't want to die. In fact, many organizations have adopted policies against using the terms suicide and assisted suicide to describe the practice of medical aid in dying. Fact. There is no connection between denial of health care coverage and medical aid in dying. Both private and public insurers only cover treatments they deem to be effective, regardless of whether the jurisdiction allows medical aid in dying or not. Fact. Surveys show that the majority of doctors support medical aid in dying as a part of patient-directed care. Studies show hospice and palliative care improve in states where medical aid in dying is available. Fact. In a combined 40 years of experience across the 10 jurisdictions where medical aid in dying is authorized, it has never been documented that anyone other than the terminally ill person who was prescribed the aid in dying medication ever has intentionally or accidentally taken it. The Ron Silverio Heather Block End of Life Options Act gives peace of mind to anyone facing a terminal illness. It might be you. It might be a loved one. Find out more at CompassionAndChoices.org.